Mr. Gray will see you now. This Fifty Shades of Grey, unfortunately, is a big moment in our culture because it represents the first time that this kind of deviant uh, sexual expression is finding a romantic context. This has always been considered pretty nasty stuff. It's trying to be made now the stuff of Valentine's Day. Join me right now to talk about Fifty Shades of Grey and its impact upon the well-being of uh, sons and daughters is Dr. Miriam Grossman. She's a medical doctor who specializes in child, adolescent, and adult psychiatry, the author of Unprotected, and you're teaching my child what? She's also in giving a lot of attention to Fifty Shades of Grey and giving parents survival guide. I'm curious, when, when, you, when this book first started getting attention, what did you think? My first thought was that, you know, this is just more silliness, you know, that yep. it came out of the whole vampire right. thing, and it was actually written as uh, fan fiction. I knew that it had become very, very popular, unbelievably popular as a book. A film is much more powerful than than books mm -hmm. um, often, and I believe that there's going to be dangerous and negative repercussions. The relationship that is portrayed in the movie is a disturbed one, and it is, however, glamorized. It's about sadomasochism. Uh, it glamorizes the abuse of a young woman by an older and powerful man. This is actually an opportunity it's a springboard to talk about disturbed relationships with their kids. So okay. you can actually make lemonade from lemons in a way. They must do this. It's just too important not to. I'm stunned that it's become a cultural phenomenon uh, in and of itself. And I would not have thought it would gain this kind of popularity. There aren't 100 million women out there that are enjoying the scenes right. in the in, in, the, in this book to be movie uh, in, in which Anna is humiliated and hurt and controlled. He is painted as this kind of complicated figure with inner demons, and yet there's a lot of good to him as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's laughable almost. It's, it's ludicrous almost how, how poorly written the whole thing is. What I want parents to Make sure that they do sit down with their kids, even preteens who may be hanging around with older kids. And even if they don't see the movie, they need to be aware that that these themes in this movie that are being glamorized and romanticized are actually very disturbed ideas and that any relationship that includes abuse on any level mm -hmm. is, is unacceptable. That is something the kids may not be so sure about after this film, you know, gains traction. I thought it was you. What the? What a pleasant surprise, Miss Steele. He stalks her, right? Yes. Stalking someone. How is that romantic? It's not. The danger of this movie is that it plants these ideas in young people's minds. Okay. Rope, tape, cable ties. You're the complete serial killer. Not today. It, it, it may it plant doubts in their mind, and that's what you want to make sure that you sit down and tell them, no, no, this is not okay. This is not healthy. Okay. It, you know, there's distinctions between healthy and unhealthy and moral and immoral. And, and, and these things are actually black and white, not shades of gray. 